Hello viewers, Gamer Inspector Boy 700 here, and today we are continuing my let's play of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So we just so basically I so last episode we got two runes, the Magnesis rune and the bomb rune, which apparently rolled too far away because I was busy doing my intro. Oh crud! So I sometimes I forget to like get out of the blast radius and that hurts me a lot sometimes. So hold on, what food do I have? What food do I have? I will eat this. There we go. Health restored. So... Okay, so trying to escape the guardian. Nope. Oh crud. So I'm using Bacardi on to fight them. Oh crud, my Bacardi on broke. Get a new one. Run, 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 run. Yeah, because do not try to face- I, I tried to face against the Guardian um, early on, and I like literally like, had this great strategy, just run and hide, attack and hide, it did not work, so- Wait, there's two of them?! There's two of them! Okay! Great! Get those arrows. Yeah, do not face off against the Guardians. So, where- so I'm gonna head- Where's the next nearest shrine? So I'm gonna head to this one right here. Um, just to kill these keys. There we go. Oh, killed all of them in one swoop. Um, there we go. Usually monster parts can be used to make potions. Personally, I don't use potions as much. I probably should, but I don't. Um, but yeah, I, I mainly just make food and sell the monster parts. I should really try and make potion potions more often. But yeah. Hold on, I'm sorry, I just need to check something else on my computer. Just something entirely different, excuse me. Um, okay, great. I was just checking something else, because someone else is downloading, and I just want to make sure that was still working, because occasionally it didn't. Alright, so, we have a Bacoblin camp over there. Um, hold on, let me... Are there any magnetic stuff around? Because usually they will glow. Like, right now, this is like a field... Um, apparently none that I can see. Because I'd really like to take him out. Oh crud. Don't want them to see me. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sneak around. So I'm gonna sneak through the grass. Did you see that beehive up there? See that beehive? I'm gonna knock down that beehive. And hopefully not miss. Good, I hit it. And just let the bee, and just let nature take its course. Let the bees take care of them. And while they're doing that, I'm gonna t check out what they see. Yeah, bees do harm. Bees do harm! Very much. They could kill you. Hold on, this one's not being chased by bees, so I'm just gonna shoot him in the back. Oh crud, he saw me. Oh crud, I missed. So hopefully those bees will kill him in time. Just just watching them kill just watching the bees kill him. That is sad. Oh wait, are they done? They're done. Hold on oh Um Let me just throw this away. Wanna see something cool? Hey Throw the stuff at me. Boom! Baseball! Boom. Okay, so strike one! Strike two! Let's not get three strikes, guys! Let's not get three strikes! Strike three! You're out of there! <laughs> okay, I'm not out. Boom! Okay, it hit me, but okay, you know what? I'm just gonna end this. And I'm gonna collect the honeycomb I shot down. Of course, there'll be honey. Yeah, because that'll make a probably good food. Hold on, let me. Let me let me see what. Oh yeah. So let me do this. Um, anything else? Yeah, no. I'm just gonna cook these real quickly because there's a fire here and it, it gives you a lot more hearts if it's cooked, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna wait for those to cook. Um. Oh, I thought those were objects. Um. Roasted carp, seared prime steak, roasted porgy, 
I think I've only died once in this Let's Play, and that was like at the beginning. I will die very many times later on when I'm facing strong enemies, but I'm surprised that I haven't died more. Yeah, I think, yeah, but like when you die constantly, the, this game is basically like Nintendo's take of the movie "Live, Die, Repeat." Not, not "Live, Die, Repeat." That's that's just the catchphrase. Um, what's the movie called? Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. I've never seen it. My dad's told me about it. I really want to see it. So, but that's basically what this game is like. Live, die, repeat. If you think about it in like a game sense and not a realistic sense, but yeah. And a cabin! Baked apple! And a stamella shroom. Um, sweet spicy peppers. And pots. We always have to break the pots! And a spicy peppers in them. Sweet. Um, let's read this book. The Old Man's Diary. Ooh, what does an old man write in a diary, I wonder? On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today I co outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I shall call it Spicy, my spicy Meat and Seafood Fry. This recipe not only restores health, but also keeps me warm, even when traveling in snowy mountains. With this dish on my side, I no longer have a need of that itchy warm doublet. Mmm. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems that I forgot to write down a very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper, however, I simply cannot remember what else I used. My age is catching up to me. Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I only have my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Still, if I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublet. However, it seems like the, that this such a miraculous thing will be fulfilled. Okay, so, hold on. What, what weapons do I have? Because I might need this woodcutter's axe. Um, I already have one, so... I think I know what this is, but do I have raw meat? I think I just cooked my raw meat. Yeah, I cooked my raw meat, darn it. I just have to get more raw meat. That's all that. Hold on. So, I might be able to get some raw meat from here, or if a deer is passing by, I might be lucky. Let me just shoot this guy. No! Oh, could they already heard, darn it. Um, so, what the heck, I'll just go full on. Hey! Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Um, yeah. Wait, what do you... I should probably eat something, because I don't want to die. Ah, oh, crud! Fine, be that way. Um... Get the arrows. Boom! Boom! There we go. And I'll see what's in that box in a second. But first, I want to get this. I want to steal their seared steak that they were cooking, because... Yeah. And also, hold on. Wrong button. Actually, looking back on it, I could have burned an arrow and just saved a fire arrow, but... Ah, uh, okay. Missed. Okay, so I'm gonna run now, because those bees are probably gonna be after me. Oh, crud, crud, crud. Run. Hopefully those bees will give up chase. Hold on, let me grab this arrow. Hopefully those bees will... I think those bees gave up chase. They gave up chase. Okay, great. So I'm gonna go collect that treasure chest and honeycomb. Because that's gonna be important later on. Hopefully. First grab these Hylian shroom. And... Here we go! Bomb arrow! Sweet! Those will come in really handy. Um, let's see what's in that chest now. Throwing spear! Okay. Great. Cool. I I actually like throwing spears because like they give really, really wrong reach and do lots of damage, sorry. And hold on, I'm just gonna grab these apples. Hey, it's the old man. Let's go talk to him. <laughs> Fancy that, we meet again. What are you doing? 
I thought this tree here might make for some good firewood. Hmm. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want it is quite an art. Quite the art. The trick is to turn your head so that they face where you want the tree to land. Hmm. So you see, I see you found my axe. Why not help me out and give me a few swings? I'm working up quite a sweat here, but these bones could use a break. Sure thing. Eh. <gasps> hey, hey, guy. Oh, come on! I'm sorry. Are you mad at me? You mad, bro? <laughs> Wonderful. You mad, bro? Okay, he's not mad, apparently, that I tried to kill him by making a tree fall on him. He's no big deal. No big deal. Forgive and forget, you know. It doesn't matter if I tried to kill someone with a tree. It's just, no one got her. And there we go, that tree is down, so I'm gonna have to be eh, careful and walking. Ass! Okay. So wait, did they see me? They didn't see me. Oh, I don't have my bow equipped. Let me equip my bow. Boom, one hit KO because it's like a really strong bow! So, okay. Let's get these things. Get the bomb. Wrong button. I keep pressing the wrong button. I want to throw it. Not close enough. There we go. Treasure chest. And fire arrow. Sweet. Yeah, the different arrows will always come in handy because you're going to be always using... If if you like using the bow and arrow, then you're going to be always using bow and arrows. I do anyways. And so you can find out that you run out pretty fast. I'm going to attempt to climb this. I'm probably going to fail, but I'm going to attempt it. Actually, yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it. So let me, I think there's another way around. I think there's another way around. Let me just check. Yeah, here, because there's little, there's little ledges right here. No, never mind. There we go. Rest. Am I good? I'm good. Alright, just climb this thing. And get this rush room. Yeah, rush room. See, see what the game did there? Um, to can't temporarily increase. Alright, let that recharge. Okay, this is probably gonna take a while. I'm just gonna fast forward through climbing this cliff right here, because it's probably not the most exciting thing, so I'll let you know when I'm back up. Okay, yeah, well, I died. That didn't really help. Um, continue the fast forward in. Alright, we're back now, so I finally made it after dying once at the Oadine Shrine. 
And let's go in. Just adjust my pillow on my back. And. <clears throat> nighttime monsters. When nighttime falls, skeletal stall monsters will emerge from the ground. Stay vigilant. Excuse me. Stasis trap. So this. This mechanic is actually pretty cool because what it does it stops time temporarily for one object and so basically it's, it's just really cool. It's just really cool. You'll see what it does. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Stop the flow of time for an object. Stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. All right, sweet. Um, so let's wait patiently and boom. See, so yeah, I think that's really cool. Sweet. The vindication, the, the classic jingle of solving a puzzle. Oh, crud, crud, crud! I almost got hit there, Indiana Jones style. Crud, crud! Oh, crud! I forgot time. You only have. It has to recharge, I completely forgot. I completely forgot. So hold on. I'm going to wait patiently because... Because there's a treasure chest up there, I think. Yeah, there's a treasure chest, so I'm just gonna wait and get that. Because I know how you get it, I just need... There. What's in here? Drop your shield. Oh, we'll just have to change that now, won't we? Up oh, too far. Drop. And drop your shield. <gasps> shoot! Oh god! You you can shield surf, which is really cool, but apparently you need a good enough surface, like snow, for instance. Um, let me just drop this and get this, because this will, this iron sledgehammer will help me for what I'm about to do. Another cool thing that the stasis rune allows you to do is, hold on, hold on a second. Just keep whacking it. As you see the arrow, that is, the more you whack it, the more it will go flying. And... Boom. You can do that with a number of objects, and so I really like that. And we're done! So, and there we go. Spirit Orb. Three, may the gods smile upon you. Thank you, Mr. Monk. Or is it Mrs. Monk? I, I couldn't tell. I honestly couldn't. Um... Okay. Cold water, more than a weapon. Yup, 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 yup. My dog. It's not my dog, it's actually my family, so I don't really. I'm gonna be honest here, I'm just completely off topic. I am not really an animal person, okay? I own, we own the dogs, but I personally don't like them as much as my family. I know what if you're there if you're an animal enthusiast and you're probably gonna be riding on me. The temperature is getting dangerously low. Find warmth. Okay. Is he okay yeah Link is doing the animation where he gets freezy. Okay crud. I need where's the because I know there's a book there. You need a We got him on in one hit, because Link will need fire. And since I don't have enough clothing, I mean, I could get the warm doublet from the guy if I wanted to, but I don't have any meat, so, sadly. So, next best option. Um, what do I, where's my, where's my torch? Next best option. Carry a fire with me. Yes, this gets a bit... Redundant and difficult because I can't run or else it'll put out the fire, but 
Hey, it will it'll work until I get some warmer clothing later on in the game. Because there is warmer clothing. You know what? Fine. Oh, good. I, mi I missed. I missed. Oh, don't use the torch as a weapon. Um, stuff. Oh, I could have used the explosives, but I don't want to! because he's probably freezing and I need to check what's in this chest arrows sweet um food that's right I, I forgot what I was gonna do I was gonna get food there we go go back to the torch and can't set that on fire okay fine hey an acorn Sweet! Oh, he's wanted an acorn. Oh, I forgot to. Ah, oh, never mind. I'll just do it when I get back. Cause like back at the other shrine, where's the other shrine that's down there? Actually, down that cliffside, there's a little mini secret. But I will show it. Did I already go down there? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind. Um, there's a little secret down there. But I'll show you when I finish this other shrine. Okay, great. Oh, crud! Hold on, guys. I'll be right back because I completely forgot something. Um, be back soon. One second. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that, but um, I remember like I just looked at my watch. It said five, and my brother Austin said that he needed to go to um, somewhere at five. And I was like, oh crud! So I go out there. But he's like, now nah, well, never mind. I don't need to. I'm like, okay, great. And so I'm back. I just come. I don't know why, but don't judge me. But I just have a thing for frozen chicken nuggets, specifically the Dino Nuggets. Don't ask me why. It's just been a thing for a long time. I just really like them. Oh. Another moblin! Oh crud! Crud, he does lots of damage. What? Come on, come at me, bro. Oh crud! Darn it. Darn it. Alright. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, I know Link your cold. It's, I, I know it hurts. It sucks. Okay. There we go. Sometimes it works for me because I do it five times and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah! Oh, this sucker. I should probably go get stuff. Actually, I don't need to. I'm close to the shrine. At least I think I, Yeah, I think I... Pretty sure I am. What? Okay, crud, where's... Well, crud. Okay, hope am I where's the shrine? You know, okay, I'm just gonna see if I can rush to the shrine. I'm just gonna see if I can rush to the shrine. Um, just quit the sword just in case. Just talk about something. I like in the game how there's like the weather survival kind of mechanic, because that really puts on like a needy. What? What? No, not needy. Needy's not the word. Um, 
Realistic. There we go. Realistic spin on the Zelda series where you like, hold on. Let me just. Now I can shoot. Now I can shield surf. Shield surfing down. I, I really like. I really like this feature. It's really fun to do. Yeah. There we go. Oh crud! Crud! Oh, I just barely missed that. Hey, fire and stuff. Oh crud! Yes, Carol. Well, he died in his own fire, but he hasn't done his own torch. He died in his own- That's- tip, Pro tip for those out there. Pro, pro tip, survival tip. Do not walk in your own fire, or else you will die. We learned that on episode one. We learned that the hard way on episode one. Um, okay, so... I'm just, I'm just gonna... Throw that. And I'm just gonna carry this for a torch for now. Until I can. Until later. Because basically, after this run, we're basically. After this shrine. Not this run. After this run. Oh. Oh, I, ju I just put it out. Great. Good job, Will. Put out your torch. Um. Th this next. This next. Rune. This final rune is actually my, one of my favorite runes, other than the Magnesis rune. Um, it's really fun to use. Uh, you'll see in a minute. It's really fun. Um, how about... I'm thinking of something. How about we finish the shrine and basically after that we're basically... Because I know that... Hold on, there's something else up there. Okay, as soon as we get the paraglider, because like after the shrine we can get the paraglider, we'll call it the... We'll call it for the episode. Because I'm trying to like plan out ahead, you know? Excuse me. Make, let me just check something else on my computer. I'm sorry. Okay, great. All right, great. It is... Wait. The cryonist room. Wait, what am I missing? I'm missing a rune. Oh, wait. Oh, I know what it is now. I mean, no, I need, yeah, never mind. I'll, I'll get that rune later, but not yet. Um, so this is another fun one because you can make ice blocks. It's cool. Yeah, this this rune is really cool. Ha ha ha! Oh, what am I doing with my life? But seriously, it's really useful to use. You can like open the gate like that. Oh crap! Yeah. Oh crap! Oh crap! Alright, that failed. Um, what is a better weapon? Throwing spear! Boom! Oh, crud, 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 crud! Great. Just killed it right before it killed me. Great. Um. Oh, hey, treasure chest. Right, I'll that for that. That failed! Break that. There we go. And it is a chopper spear. Sweet! So I just used my other spear. Um go, let's do that. Sweetness. And anything else? I think that's it. I don't think there's any more treasure chests. Sweet. Let's talk to the monk. The Sheikah monk. Sheikah monk. Sheikah monk. Sheikah monk. Try saying that five times fast. Sheikah monk. Sheikah monk. Sheikah monk. Sheikah monk. Sheikah monk. Sheikah monk. Okay. I, I guess it's not as difficult. But. There we go, we finished all three shrines, we have four spirit orbs. Now, all we- sorry, I just had to move some out of the way of my foot. Now all we have to do is go to the Temple of Time. Yeah, never mind, okay. Is it the Temple of Time, or do I go to the old man? I don't know, I I'll find out when I leave. Shield surfing. Climbing tip. 
Oh, hey, it's the old man. Wait, where? There he is. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. <laughs> oh, -ho, quite extraordinary. <laughs> that means it's finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... But first you give me the paraglider. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? But you don't connect these shrines across where I then I will be waiting. So he dissolved into nothingness. Doesn't even leave me with a torch. So just as recap, I know what this is, but so there and there. Do you know what that do you know what that equals? That equals the Temple of Time. I think, yeah. Yeah, the Temple of Time. So let's just go. So, wait, hold on. Let me just teleport here and then I can walk to the Temple of Time. Because it's better than where I am right now. So I just had to get some out of my the back of my throat. Climbing tip. Um, ladders. Back at the shrine of resurrection. Let's run out again. There we go. Well. Temple of Time, here I come. Here we are, Temple of Time. Actually, first we have to dive! Yeah, I know, I'm dramatic like that. Yeah. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, 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 just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep, yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop. Finding Nemo. I, I really like Disney and Pixar movies a lot. Die, you. Ow. That wasn't very nice. Traveler sword broke. Okay. Um. And the statue is glowing. The goddess statue. Let's go see what it's about. Pray. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. You exchange for four, four, four spirit orbs, I'll amplify your being. Heart container, because personally I think the heart container is a bit more valuable than the stamina meter because you will die a lot in this game if you're not careful. Yes, you, yes, you will want to, um, I will power up the stamina meter eventually, but not yet. Go. So basically, a spirit orb is like a piece of heart, pretty much. Oh! Let's all, let's all ho. Let's all ho at him. Ho! Did everyone ho? Everyone just let out a big ho. Ho! Yeah, good, good <laughs> job, Bob. K Kyle, Kyle, you could have been, you could have been a little better with your ho, but we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Work on your ho. Work on your. Ho! And you can be a ho or like me and the old man. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? Let's climb up here. Hopefully I don't run out of stamina. I probably won't. Uh, I think I won't. Yeah, because this is why the stamina meter is helpful. Because it'll, it'll help you increase your climbing abilities. That's And climbing is a major part of this game. Just so you know. But not yet. At first, I want to get a good number of heart containers. 
And we made it. There, there's the old man, the glowing spirit. Oh crap! No! Oh, I almost fell for. I thought I fell for a second. The spiritual old man who can dissolve into thin air. Let's talk to him. <laughs> Well done there, young one. Well done there, now young then, one. The time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. So the King of Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> Just run my switch shirt casually. King Roam Bosphorus Hyrule, the last king of Hyrule. I like this character, because I like King... The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, Lo. The king was A century ago. It was then so that my life was music. taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Sweet, okay, just lay it on me. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom. But his transformation into Malice created the horror you see now. Right. Ma Malice is that gooey stuff, basically, Stories much. of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. A prophecy. There's always a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. All right. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. This seems like the Lego it movie wasn't prophecy. Long before like, we discovered several ancient hold on, I'm sorry. made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. From and deep the below beasts. Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The Champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the Kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived 
to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Okay. Sweet. Fate of Hyrule rests with me. Good to know. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. All right, sweet. Hmm. Go on, here's the paraglider, just as I promised. Finally! <laughs> now you shift making on the Great Plateau. Sweet. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cr cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's mm. it. I told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. So, so I just want to talk for a minute here. First of all... First of all, just with the king of Hyrule himself. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I really like the theme music for the King of Hyrule, both from Wind Waker with Daphne's No Haunts in Hyrule and with King Ro and Bosphorus Hyrule. They they just have an excellent theme that suits them, which I know it's just the Hyrule Castle theme with a piano and a, just a softer tone, but I really prefer that, honestly. It is just excellent. It just matches up good, correctly. And another thing. So, uh, the, with the plan that Ganon, that they did not over, that they did not see coming. Sorry. Um, so the plan that they did not see come to was basically Ganon taking control of the Divine Beast. But I really have to ask, if he, the, the saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool, fool me twice, shame on me, did they honestly think that after... Oh, wait, no, hold on. I'm, I'm not going to say anything yet, because like what, 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 what I was going to say coincides with technically spoiler alerts, so I am going to be patient. But since we are like at the capture card thing, since we are going 46 minutes in, it's probably going to be shortened because I like had the montage with the other thing. But anyways, I'm just going to stop it here. So until next time, bye bye.